Now, first you need to understand what is regression. So, in regression, actually you're looking at this y. This is the model. This is the equation that we will be using. Y is equal to, let's say this is alpha plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 plus beta 3 x 3. Now, if you're not familiar with what is regression, I think you need to give it a little bit of time to understand what is the regression equation. I'll try my best to make it understand. So, how do we calculate this uh, uh, regression model? Now, what is y here? y is the number of people that you require to staff your store. We are talking about a retail store, let's say, or a cash and carry store. x1 is our first factor or first thing that we need to understand in order to forecast our uh, demand. So, let's say it is the square feet of sales space. We'll talk about it in our Excel file as well. X2 is the population of the metropolitan area. And X3 is the projected annual sales in volume of uh, millions of dollars. Now, where are we taking this data from? The data that we are putting here or here or here this data is divided into two different things one data is being taken from already uh, running stores and then some data is of the new store so let's just go to our excel sheet and see how can we do the regression analysis in order to forecast our uh, demand for the employees now this is our uh, regression analysis table we have uh, given it different formulas you can always try changing these things but let's just understand a few things what is why the number of employees needed to staff a store different types of employees x1 is the square feet of sales space x2 is the population of metropolitan area and x3 is the projected annual sales in volume in millions of dollars now this is what are the factors of your new store and the data of these things will be given here x1 x2 and x3 this is a key this is the organizational data that we already have where did we get this data from we usually get this data from the stores retail stores which are already running so First data is this one, the eight, eight number of employees. This is constant. Employees needed to staff the store without any change in any other factor. What do we mean by this? Let's say if there's a store, retail store, and assume there is no customer, there is no shelving, there is no sale. But still, at least we will be needing this staff, eight people, let's say security people or cleaning people, even if you don't have one customer, still you will be needing some staff to just start your uh, store. So this is that number which you need, even if you have zero uh, customer or zero sales or zero area of space. So, this is our constant. No matter what happens, we will be needing 8 people to staff our store. These 3, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 are the variables, which means each store will have a different requirement. But, what is beta 1? Beta 1 is the employees needed to manage square feet of sales space. How many employees do we need to manage one square feet of sales space that is this much employee 0 0.0011. This is the amount of employee or proportion of employee that we will be needing 
to manage the one square feet area of your store. So this is our first factor, first variable. Second is employee needed to serve population of metropolitan area. Now, the number of people who are living in that area, obviously out of uh, that population, few people will be visiting your store. So how many employees do we need to cater one person out of the population of that area in which you are trying to establish your new store? So 0 0.00004 people are needed to take care of one person of the population. Then third thing is, how many people do we need to manage the projected supply of one million of dollar? So 0 0.02 people are required to deal with one million dollar of sales. Now this is the data that we already have from previous stores. What is the data of the new store? How spacious is the new store? 50,000 square feet. Population is of that metropolitan area. Uh, 250,000 people are living in that area. How many millions of dollars of sales are we expecting from that store? 150 million dollars of sales. Now what is actually happening in the regression analysis is 8 is the number of people that we already need this is one factor which is being multiplied with another factor so this is one factor being multiplied with another factor this is one factor being multiplied with another factor so what you're doing is 8 plus if you look at this after the calculation 8 plus 55 plus 10 plus 3 is equal to 76 employees needed at the store uh, which, which is a new store. Let's just go back to our uh, regression analysis and change a few things. Now suppose the store has different dimensions for example uh, instead of 50,000 square feet of area we have 70,000 square feet of area. The moment we will change it, we will be needing different number of employees to staff the store, which is 98 now. Let's say we are expecting more sales from this area that is $200 million. We will be needing a different number of employees to uh, staff our store. So this is how regression analysis can give you a detailed analysis of how many employees do you need at different levels and how many total employees will you be needing to staff an organization or staff a store uh, in our particular example. Uh, so this is how regression analysis can help you.